Video so controversial, it's never aired until now. Local cops drinking in uniform with guns. Factfinder Peter Thorne exposes this frightening threat to public safety and what has been done about it. Tonight on the CW11 News at 10. Right now, a health alert. An infectious disease appears in some local kids. New at 10, what it is and what parents need to look out for. Also new at 10, video so controversial it's never aired until now. Local cops drinking in uniform with guns. Fact finder Peter Thorne exposes this threat to your safety and what has been done about it. Then, she's a teenage cyber super sleuth. How this young woman tracked down the thief who stole her cell phone. Plus, a local man facing charges of the deadly attack against his girlfriend's cats. The bizarre story. And concerns that a popular snack that could be in your freezer was made with that bad beef. The CW11 News at 10 starts right now. This is the CW11 News at 10. Also tonight, breaking news involving Mayor Bloomberg and the presidential race. But first, the big story. Cops caught on tape, drinking, staggering around in uniform with guns and badges visible. It's a video so controversial it's never been broadcast until now. And you'll only see it here on the CW11. So what in the world was going on and what's being done about it? Peter Thorne from our Fact Finders Unit is here now with the video and some answers. Peter. Well, Kaidi, it's the highly controversial, jaw-droppingly real video clip that's gone totally viral, sparking arguments and harsh words on the Internet, and we'll show it to you now. But it wasn't enough for Fact Finders to get a hold of this tape. We wanted to find the guy who put it on the web in the first place and find the guy who shot the video itself from his apartment window. And we did. And we also found out what happened to the men you're about to see. The videotape you're watching is stunning, more so because of who it shows and what it shows them doing. And with each passing second, it becomes more and more jaw-dropping. It's amateur video shot from behind a third-story window in a Jersey City building. Tonight, fact finders can confirm, based on conversations with the Jersey City Mayor's Office and Police Department, what you're watching is a group of Jersey City police officers in uniform, with badges and guns clearly displayed, taking a liquid lunch, drinking something which sources confirm is a bottle of clear liquor. Lee Perry tells fact finders he's the man who shot the tape. I just went to the window and looked and I saw these guys passing, uh, passing a bottle around in the street. And I grabbed my camera right away. When I zoomed in on the bottle, it looked like it was a bottle of rum. Some of the low lights of this tape, after drinking, one officer gestures strangely, then walks off to urinate in public, then walks unsteadily back to the group. Here, one takes a swig from the bottle, tries to get his colleague to join in, then another officer takes a hefty swallow and hands it back. Later, they drive off. It didn't look like they were trying to hide anything. This is where our building was. Um, I shot the footage from the window on the third floor, which would have been right about here. The incident was taking place right here along this loading dock here. Back to the tape. The location is Bay Street in downtown Jersey City. The officers were off duty but in uniform, working private security. A common practice in this department and others, and entirely legal. The video showing these officers staggering and drinking was shot over 30 months ago, but only recently resurfaced in a big way, now raising a ruckus on the Internet at websites like S6K.com and JC List, where it's had thousands of views and become the topic of barbed conversation. I was just shocked. I was just completely shocked by the whole scene. What I did think of was that it was around 3 o'clock and school was being let out, and kids walked through there, and, and it, it was a busy area, and I just couldn't believe that they were so blatant on the street at that time of day even. When I saw the tape, I was nothing less than dumbfounded that these police officers would be that blatant and that brazen. Community activist Daryl Hell runs website S6K.com where many visitors first saw the disturbing clip. When we put it up originally, it got a fair amount of hits, you know, maybe about a thousand or two hits. When we posted on JC List, 
that's when things took off. Because immediately people started saying that we hated police, that we just wanted to make the government look bad. He says his only motive was to inform the public, to ask serious questions about conduct and demand accountability. He says he hoped fact finders would learn what ultimately happened to these officers and if they're still on the force. We've got those answers for you in a few seconds. But right now, tough questions for the man who shot the tape and why he did it. What was his real motive? People are going to say to me, this guy is anti-cop. That's his agenda. He doesn't like cops. Do you hate cops? No, not at all. Not at all. I don't, do not hate cops. I like good cops. To people who would say, you are anti-police and you want to make cops look bad, you would say what? I say that's absolutely not true. I do not think all cops are bad. And as a matter of fact, we had some cops that sympathized with us. But Jersey City's police department didn't sympathize with these officers. Fact Finders was told the city's police chief was appalled at such conduct in full public view. City officials also confirmed the unnamed officers were investigated and hit with 15 to 60 days lost pay and forced to give up accumulated vacation, sick, and personal days. They all remain on the force. Police officials would not speak on camera, but facts, fact finders, a brief statement which tells us they consider the discipline substantial and this matter closed. As you might imagine, the existence of this controversial video clip is still sparking vigorous debate online, which is where it first appeared and caused such a commotion. Now, if there's a story you want us to look into in depth, tell us at our website, cw11.com slash fact finders. Katie? That was a real eye-opener. Thank you, Peter. Well, the shocking video is still causing quite a stir on the Internet. If you'd like to judge for yourself, go to our website at CW11.com, where you can see the raw video in its entirety. Jim? Important breaking news now.